March 24th, 2024. Okay, first of all, I'm not recommending this to anybody, but I'm just experimenting with my car, so um, I'm sure I need new shocks, so I'll be replacing them this summer, but I'm just going to, uh, I'm just uh, going to top them off. It's 48 degrees, not too bad. So this is the fill hole right here. Give them a good cleaning. Okay. Here's the fill plug right there. Let's go to the other side. I'm cleaning it so, you know, no gunk gets inside. You don't want gunk getting in your shocks. So that's why I'm cleaning it. I'm just going to wipe it with a paper towel. There we go. Okay. So anyway, these are easy to replace. Uh, you're going to do these two bushings here. One, two. Take this uh, split pin out. And then there's uh, four bolts. See, there's the corner one there. There's four all around. And that's it. You support this. You support the lower control arm with a jack. I have this covered now because I'm doing my hubs. Okay, so this is loose. A 14 all right that's loose I'm gonna get the other side there is a washer in there so don't lose the washer when you take your plugs out I have my oil in the house now because I don't want to bring out bring it outside for the last minute so it flows better so I'm gonna go fill my uh, oil dispenser it's one of those little pump things and I'll fill these up a little at a time You know, if these are leaking, then they need to be serviced. Interesting. My right side has no washer. <laughs> there you go. And uh, my left side has a washer, but the... I don't think that's why my right side leaked, so don't get any ideas. I'm going to have to replace that washer. I'm sure I have one in the garage somewhere. Or I'll just leave it off because these are going to, these are going to get replaced soon. I have no damping in this car, in the front, so... I mean, I can't even lift this up. I don't know if they're stuck. They could be stuck. So maybe the oil will help. We'll see. I bought this little oil pump. Comes with a flexible tube and a uh, stiff tube. I'm gonna use the uh, non-flexible tube. A handy dandy oil pump dispenser. Why is it handy dandy? Is it can it just be dandy or can it just be handy? Just quickly, this is uh, 9.5 ounces. So this will give me an idea of how much I'm putting in each side. So I'm using this kind of fork oil. And that's what it looks like. Almost totally clear. A little on the yellow, little yellow tinge. Okay. I mean, if this doesn't work, it's not the fork oil's fault. It's that my shocks are shot. My lever shocks are shot. And I know I need new ones, but just having a little, little fun today. She's all filled. Now, this is brand new, so you always get a little squirt just in case there's something inside the tube. Oh, there you go. Now, I read that you have to be patient with this. One whole squeeze. One, two, three, 
four. All right, I did four squeezes and nothing's coming out the hole. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let that drain down. Now, I, I read you're supposed to lift your shocks up and down to get the air out. But I'm just going to have to wait to go down the road because I can't move these things. All right, the other that side took eight, so eight pumps. One, two, three, four, five. Well, let me put the torch on, sorry. So this is the left side of the car. I put five pumps in there. Six, seven, eight. All right, they both have eight. Okay, let's go to the other side. I'll put some more. So I'm just going to be alternating sides. And uh, slowly, it's cold. It's 48 degrees, so... See, this whole top section here that I'm pointing to, that's an air reservoir. Down here is where the fluid should be. So it's got a drip from this air reservoir. I saw a picture. It's got to drip through some holes, one or two holes, I forgot, down here. So that's going to take a little time. So take your time and uh, alternate sides until it's filled, until it starts coming. Uh, it's going to start coming out of the hole and then just add a little more and then you'll be good. And so far, I only put in that much, so not too much is in there. Oh, hold on. Okay. So, I put in 50 pumps per side. And this is how much left out of a 9.5 ounce jug. I would say there's about a quarter left. Okay. So round it up, round it up the 10 ounce jug. Oh, that was nice. Go faster. Hit a tree, why don't you? Okay. I wish that guy would hit a tree. But anyway. <laughs> um, so this is going to be about a quarter of 10 ounces. So two and a half ounces left. So that means I put seven and a half ounces in so far which is um, a little over three and a half ounces per side. So I'm going to put some more in here, fill this up again. All right, everybody. So I guess totally I put um, about 20 ounces, maybe about, I don't know, maybe somewhere between 15 ounces total. So maybe about eight ounces per side is a, is a guess. Now when I squirt it in, it's squirting right back at me. So when it does this, I'll show you. When it does this, you know you're kind of full. All right. See? See it? I just showed that as an example. It's coming right back at me, and I let this sit for a while. Same with the other side. I mean, this took about over 70 pumps of this little thing. You know, 70 squeezes of the handle. And I made a mistake at the beginning of this video trying to trying to work the shock because I'm going against the spring. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, uh, so what I'll do is I'll put the car down eventually when I'm done with the hubs. There's my old one. I'm waiting for a warm day to finish the hubs. See the spindle here. Um, so on a warm day, I'll put the car down and I'll work the uh, shock up and down. To work in the fluid because I can't move the control arms now and the other side's the same thing it's already squirting out at me so same thing here so they're full they're as full as I'm going to get them so that's it for this video thanks for watching everybody so pretty soon I'll be finishing up the hubs there's the old ones those are history okay I use some brake clean first to clean to clean the area um, walk around here use this uh, brake clean here 
and wipe it down. Don't want to get any dirt in there. Okay. This little pump thing was okay, but it, fortunately, it, it's starting to leak already. You know, you buy something for $9. Should last a couple times. But, okay, I'm just going to put the, the little bolts back in. This one's missing a washer. Let me see, was it a flat washer? Yeah, flat washer on each side. Yeah, it's a flat, flat washer. They weren't tight. Just tight enough to not fall out. All right. Enjoy your Sunday dinner, everybody. Thanks for spending a little time with me working on these dampers. Armstrong lever shocks. 72 MGB. Bye, everyone. Oh, one last thing. My right side didn't have a uh, dishwasher. My right side didn't have a washer, so I found another washer. It's bigger in diameter, but the ID is the same, so it fits perfect. And there's nothing in the way as far as clearance. I'll show you. Plenty of clearance around there. Okay, bye everyone. I know I ended the video, but here's the right side with my new washer. It's so obvious, but it does the job. So when you put the car down with the tire on, I think you want to work it up and down or just drive it and the, the air will air bubbles will rise to the top on these things. I'll show you what the stock side looks like with the stock washer. Here's the stock side with the smaller stock washer. Okay. Until next time.